caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the all I hear, go get the money, so I go get it. Hate means I do something right, so I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let them. I hit the nail on the head, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let them. Hi, guys. So we got a, uh, an email. Uh, I don't know where the hell the email was, if it was my email address or hers or whatever. I don't know. Some idiot um, that said uh, they're, they're going through your medical records. Um, and apparently, uh, they're saying that Shani is in a Good conservatorship. Good morning, my lovies. Well, Happy Wednesday. <laughs> We're here for another video, and this is going to be fun, I hope. Let's see. Oh, that would make absolutely zero sense. You know why? Because the purpose of a conservatorship is to conserve financial means. That's what a conservatorship is for. Like, if you got a crazy person, like they were saying, uh, Britney was nuts, shaving her head and shit, uh, or Kanye West, because he was out of his mind for a time, absolutely. Uh, it's it's to protect their their goods, First their financial, of all, uh, their financials. No one would give you a conservatorship over Shani because you yourself are not mentally stable. So that wouldn't even make any sense. So the fact that we're even making a video about some stupid email from a troll talking about getting into medical records and conservatorships over Shani. You're right, there's nothing to conserve because she has nothing, so it wouldn't make any sense. So why are we giving this any attention again? Jason, explain, I'd love to hear it. Because people that are unstable mentally like that can spend money real fast and just go through it and it's gone. So, um, that is not the only reason for yeah. a conservatorship. I guess, again, we just couldn't look up conservatorship before we came online and just started flapping our gums. Right, Rev? It makes absolutely no sense as to why Shani would be in a conservatorship, uh, because there's nothing to conserve. More brilliant people on the internet just making shit up, because they can. Because it's fun, right? It is. It's, it's really fun to, to just make shit up and, and like pretend no that it's real. No one believes that and or no. thinks that it's real or would even know that it's happening if you didn't come on this dumb live stream and say so. Within your little peer group of, of psychos on the internet, you, ju you just all pretend that this stuff is real and then you laugh and say, how, oh, look at how stupid they are. Ah, it's like, I literally, to me, it, it's like the, oh, man, I get real bad backlash for saying what I just thought of saying. But I don't give a shit today. It's like the short bus kids. It's the same type of shit. Laughing. You laugh like the short bus kids. Oh, we're going to make short bus jokes for special needs kids. Wow, we've reached a new low. Didn't you used to have a stepson that you beat up that had special needs? Rev. So I see we're going to settle to the most immature thing we can go to and then call people the short bus people. So mature. That's really stupid fucking shit that nobody cares about. Who the fuck would care if Shani is in a conservatorship or not anyway? I wouldn't care. Loveys, uh, would any of you give a flying shit if Shani was in a conservatorship? Uh, I wouldn't. Why the fuck would you care in the first place? We but I don't. Mean, it's patently ridiculous and stupid because there's nothing to conserve. Nothing. So that's wonderful. We know there's nothing. Oh, there's a person that's supposed to get Yeah. I hate liars, too. Oh, this should be interesting. Jason, did someone lie to you this time? It wasn't the other way around. Liar. I really despise people who lie deliberately to other people. Oh, this should be good, loveys. This should be good. All I want is a soda. <laughs> something wrong with water. No, there's nothing wrong with water, Miss uh, Medical Field. It's called when you drink soda in excess, it dehydrates you. So the more water you drink, you don't feel quenched because you're so dehydrated from drinking so much soda. I thought this was common sense. I guess I was wrong. I'm literally like gonna just murder if I don't get a cigarette. 
Oh God, everybody reach into their PayPal wallets and quick send Rev some money before he unalives someone. We're all so worried about you. Me? I hope not. <laughs> he said, she said, are you gonna unalive me? And he said, I hope not. <laughs> Well, that's not comforting, Jason. That's not a that's that's a very scary thing to say to the woman you love so much, your queen. What did I do to you? Nothing. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't be out for any other reason. You want a soda too? I hear you. There's people agreeing with you. They want sodas. Those people can probably just go to their refrigerators or their local convenience store and get themselves a soda because they have jobs and they can do that. But you can't because you depend on everyone else for your little needs like soda and cigarettes. Real nice. Tuna with cheese joined. That's a great name. Tuna with cheese is delicious. Of course, in my household, when we have tuna, we have to fight the cats off us. They are <laughs> we discussed the cat food situation yesterday, but not even Gavin and Watermelon's food is safe at this point. Jesus, they'll eat their, they'll eat your tuna too, guys. Hide it, hide it, Watermelon, Gavin. Try to hide your, <laughs> hide your tuna cans from Shani. <laughs> Because if she gets her hands on some on some cheese, those scrubby hands, your tuna is gone. They love their tuna. They really do. Wow, my eyes are so evil. What? My eyes look so evil. <laughs> oh, my eyes look so evil because I'm gonna I'm Jones and so bad for a cigarette that I'm gonna unalive somebody and i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that you know what you know what would solve your problems a job which i've said a million times but no one feels sorry for you i personally don't i don't care that you want a cigarette that's not my problem that sounds like a you problem it's in your chemical of nicotine you need smoke for your tobacco. yeah i really do i that's not a joke either that's not no. a fucking joke i changed smoke since i'm 19. Well, considering that your mother passed away, unfortunately, from cancer, you think maybe this would be the time that we stop smoking? Maybe? Maybe now's the time. If I have a soda and a cigarette, I would be a happy person right now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, you guys would be happy for about six hours until you were back online e-begging for something to eat because you need foods and you're starving. Shani would really like a pizza, guys. If, if, if anyone out there could just reach into their soul and send us a pizza, that'd be amazing. Please, Lord Jesus, can we get some smokes <laughs> yeah. and some soda tonight? Oh, Please, Lord. Jesus Christ, man. I've I been trying to work all day toward it. I love Jesus. Trying Jesus all Lord. day doing what exactly? Filling out online surveys, hoping you make 30 cents? Please. Amen. You can't do it anymore. <laughs> Neither can I. I can't even walk. It, 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 I'm getting to the point where I, I, it's hard to even walk to the bathroom. Period. Anything. Yeah. yeah. That's why like, you, you should be in inpatient yeah, my, care. My you should be an inpatient yeah. for what exactly? Weren't you yesterday, well, my video yesterday, saying how Shani can get her legs over her head and all that crazy yoga sexual pose nonsense we had to listen to? What happened? Now she can't walk. Now her legs don't work. Now she needs inpatient. There's no inpatient for you. As I've said a thousand times, no one's going to save you, take care of you, pay your way. None of that's happening. You're 40 years old. Time to act like it. I hope this sucks so bad. It obviously doesn't suck enough for you to actually get off either of your asses and do anything about it. But here we are complaining because we don't have cigarettes and soda. Wah. We're so un... No one's nice to us. Uh, someone promised us sodas and they we didn't get it. That's coming, watch. You should be in impatient care at this point. 
100%. I feel like my hip is freaking cracked. Yeah. Your hip is not cracked. You're just fat. Got it? Your body's going to react that way because you're fat. I'm tired of saying morbidly obese. You're fat. Ridiculously fat. Way too fat for any human skeletal system. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. If there's bone spurs in there. Yeah, bone spurs? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I feel like I want to throw up sometimes. The pain is so bad. She wants to throw up. The pain is so bad sometimes. I'm in a, a little story time with Ella. My second son, both my sons were a C-section, okay? My second son, um, I had an epidural in my spine, which my um, pain medication came through. Uh, right after I had my C-section, um, somehow my needle in my spine got unlodged and I went... 11 hours after being cut from hip to hip and having a very, very intense C-section, I went 11 hours without any pain management whatsoever. Um, it was horrible. It was uncomfortable, but I did it. And I wasn't vomiting from the pain. So I'm pretty sure if I can get through 11 hours of post-surgical Nothing, not nothing, not an ounce of pain medicine in my body. You can get through your bone spurs and your hip problems. Here's the issue. You cannot drink soda, eat meatball subs, pizza, fast food, whatever you want, and keep adding weight to that skeletal system and expect it to hold up. It's just going to break eventually, which is why you're in so much pain. But it's... Again, it's like going, it's in, in one year and out the other. She wants to believe she's so sick. She's got fibro. She's got osteoarthritis. She's got this. Nope, you're just fat, period. Point blank, period. You're fat, and if you were smart, you'd lose weight, and you'd feel a lot better. The end. Uh, I know there's someone in the audience who be like, you want to throw up if you're in pain. Have you ever been in that much pain where you almost want to throw up? Because that type of pain exists. Yeah, definitely. That's where I'm at. So pop more of your pills and uh, try to get into inpatient for being fat. Let me let me know how that works out for you. There's something wrong with water. I drink about a gallon and a half a day of water and my mouth is dry. <laughs> a gallon and a half of water. Does anyone buy that line of bullshit? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I drink two liters of soda. It's not dry. But me drinking just water, my freaking mouth is a desert. What the hell is that? I don't know, man. Hey, Miss Medical Field. Have you ever checked the side effects of your new medications and seeing if dry mouth is one of the side effects, which it could very possibly be, as it's a very common side effect in medications? Did you ever think to do that? Or no, you're just too busy guzzling them down like candy to uh, actually read what you're actually putting in your body? There's your answer. I bet the water is becoming hypoxic. Well, I, I, I think you've talked about that before. Yeah. And people said you were an idiot. You are an idiot because I just looked up hypoxy water and it doesn't sound like what you're dealing with, ma'am. Hydrogen can be in a liquid form too, morons. Anyway. <laughs> water can become hypoxic. Google that shit. Mm -hmm. I just did. And uh, no. No. If you Googled it, you would know that that doesn't make any sense in your situation whatsoever. Oh, I get told I'm wrong and stupid all the freaking time, and it's like, I'm telling you, science. Like, actual, solidified science. Or maybe it's the fluoride they put in the water. You know, these people, though, they say they're going to give this and give that and give that. They always have excuses as to why it didn't happen. Yeah. And I'm just sick of it. I'm, it's Don't tell me you're going to do something. Just don't. And here we go. Here's the reason for the whole live, guys. Because assholes do that. Like teddy bear. Let your nays be nays and let your yays yeah, be yays. Yeah, Don't save yourself from being an asshole and don't tell me you'll get me anything. Because it really makes me just end up hating your fucking guts in the end. 
Wow, the entitlement is astounding, isn't it? Someone promised to get you something and didn't, and you hate them for it. Wow, that says a lot about you. Good thing I didn't tell him I was a virgin. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing because nobody on this God green earth would believe that nonsense. He's going through it. Which probably my humor isn't helping him. Right. Okay. Did, did you unleash your bipolar? I, I, if just walking for a second, is that? Okay, sure, yeah. I love you. That statement alone tells me that I don't believe that this is my opinion that Jason was ever diagnosed with bipolar. And I could put my, I would bet my life on that. You don't walk off bipolar. You do, it, it's, it's a hell that no one would understand unless they had it. But I really hate my life. Me too. And who's to blame for the self-hating of your lives? Whose fault is that? And whose control is that in? I just had therapy not long ago. I know you did. Yeah, I'm telling them. Oh. And, uh... I don't know. I feel, I feel like, some, some weeks I feel like it's worth it, and other weeks I feel like, why the fuck am I doing this? Jason, is it bipolar 1 or bipolar 2? And if you're seeing a therapist, how come you're not medicated for bipolar? It doesn't help me in the long run at all. It could have helped me document my medical conditions. My, 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 uh... No, I don't have any mental illness. I'm fine. That's not what they're... You know, it's fine. I, I, I like anybody else. So. At least you got two sturdy legs. God, you're such a witch. So he's sitting here feeling sorry for himself and he's in his nicotine rage and whatever and we've got to go right back to her and her pain and her legs and at least you have two sturdy legs. Well, he's not 500 pounds, Shannon, so maybe that's why. Yeah, I better. I'm going to need him, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Do you have to be rough with me? What are you talking about? I'm talking to you, man. You're kind of snappy. I know, I know. Why do you have to be so rough with me? I'm the victim. Doesn't anyone understand? Jason, I'm the victim. How dare you be snappy at me when I've literally beaten you up and, uh, you know, smacked you around for years now. How dare you be snappy? Be gentle with me. My legs hurt. Really him. Really him. Really him. You're a victim. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Okay. You. You're not used to this, me. <laughs> I know. I don't like him either. I hate him. Then get a grasp on reality and grow up and be a man for once in your sad, pathetic life. That's a good goes. It's a miracle that the internet's still on. I I'm really surprised at that. I uh, maybe midnight tonight. Maybe. That's probably correct. But I'm good girls, and I love you. I love you too. Yeah. This is riveting content, kids. Because that person said they were going to help me like day before yesterday or whatever, and it never happened. So if this is the new thing, yeah, if they, so they dang, 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 dangle something, dangle, dangle, dangle a dangle a fucking banana in front of you. We can also dangle a baby carrot if you prefer. I don't like it. I don't either. <laughs> Fucking dumb. This dude saying they're going through my medical records. I know that's bullshit. What else are they saying? Is that it? Y y yeah. They're going through. <laughs> who who's going through your medical records? How can they go through my medical records without signatures of consent? 
because they break the law. Yeah. Where would they go to go through to if they know somebody that's in the medical field that'd be willing to do it for them? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's anyone who would be doing that because it's highly illegal, and the nurse and the nurses and doctors know they would get fired for that and lose their license. But it's you. And, and get thrown in jail. I, I understand that, but it's you. Like, yeah, well, they can't get medical records without consent. Legally, no, they can't. And that's what the HIPAA law is for, is to protect medical information on people. But I thought you knew that, Miss Medical Background. Period. Okay. Period. Very hardwired established law. Yet you're still entertaining this bullshit. Yeah, they wouldn't even like. I need to. I need to talk about. You know, I need. I need the files of Shannon. Do you have a consent form? <laughs> like, who are they going to go to? Yeah, I get what you're saying. Sure. Yeah, it's bullshit. I mean, I just was going to say how absolutely patently, patently ridiculous it is that a group of people would say, "Let's go through someone's medical records." At all, unless we're talking about something like you know JFK because he had Addison's disease and everybody wants to know about JFK. And, and his history that I would get. I bet it would be interesting to see Shani's medical records to show that there's absolutely nothing wrong with her except that she's morbidly obese. But some just person from the internet that makes YouTube videos, let's go through their medical records. What's absolute psychopaths? Well, it's also highly illegal. Yeah. That don't stop them from doing everything they did to us. Child abuse is illegal also. You know what else is, is illegal? Scamming people for money when, when you are lying and saying that you have breast cancer and grifting. All of that shit is illegal. Scamming people is illegal, Rev. Let's talk about illegalities. All of it was illegal. It's true. Falsely calling police on us to get us kicked out of our apartment. Totally illegal. But it's just fine because it's the internet. I just want some soda. Mm -hmm. A smoke would be nice too. Well, that ain't gonna happen at all now because it's past ten. No, it's not yet. Okay. Well, if somebody would like to hook us up with a little bit of, God, why say it? Why even say it? Uh, you already know where you can give. So if you wanted to, you could. go into the description of our page. Yeah, you could if you wanted to. E begging again. Here's the thing nobody wants to. Nobody wants to go to work every day, make their hard earned money, and then pass it off to you two losers. Nobody wants to do that. There are kind people who have done it, and uh, you're very, very lucky that those people exist, but they're not everywhere, and people get sick of your shit real fast. So I wouldn't hold your breath for anyone to be sending you anything for sodi and some cigs. Get a life. Such a stupid statement. If anybody wants to, nobody wants to. Nobody wants to just keep giving you guys money that they earned with, with their hard work. Nobody just wants to keep in enabling you to absolute wastes of oxygen. Be nice. That would be a huge blessing. And we're always grateful. Always. Always grateful. Someone said that they would do something for you, didn't do it, and you just said that you hated them for it. But you're always so grateful. Uh, I'm really sick of this pain level. I really am. Yeah. What's funny is that Rev's probably really tired of hearing about her pain level, and he's the one who's like, you should be an inpatient. I bet he would love if she was an inpatient. <laughs> His life would be so much easier if she was gone, and that is too funny. You should be an inpatient. Yeah, I bet you would love that. My feet are swollen. My legs are swollen. Everything. My hips are swollen. Probably my back. I don't know how to. I, I can't see my back. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, considering you just told us that you drink two liters of sodi a day, and uh, sodi is sodium carbonate, do you think maybe it's um, water weight and sodium? Do you think that might be the problem? The swelling. 
That would make a little bit more sense now, wouldn't it, Miss Medical Background? But it's like, my legs feel like a really bad cavity. Except it's in your legs, not in your mouth. Like, where the joints are, each point of the joints. So you got the ankles, and they're raising hell like a cavity. I got my knees, and they're raising hell like a cavity. My hips, and my back. And I'm at the point now that I just, I don't know. Oh, well, we don't know either, Shannon. And how many times do we have to hear this? I'd say it, but I don't want the police to come. Yeah, exactly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're legitimately in the same boat at, 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 with that, with that uh, sentiment. Oh, so God. Guess someone ran out of gabapentin. And Delta uh. 8. <coughs> oh, God. I, I'm really down again. Uh. Oh, she's laying back down, folks. She's been sitting up doing those yoga stretches for too long now. She's got to lay down. Sitting up does not help me. Laying down doesn't really help much either, but... I think I just want to go to bed, to be honest. I hear ya. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm sorry. No, you be sorry. Oh. I've been hurting all day in my life. I know. So how can someone have all these ailments, have Medicaid, and not go to the hospital and get some kind of help unless there's nothing to help because there's nothing wrong with you except what we've already gone over? No. It's about time to do that. So my lovies, that is today's video and it was just filled with these two lovely individuals feeling sorry for themselves because somebody promised them sodies and cigarettes and they didn't get them and their lives are just so hard and they just can't go on guys I don't know what they're gonna do other than lay around in their own filth and uh, do nothing come online, snap at people, tell everyone they hate them, and uh, complain about pain that probably exists, but doesn't exist because of the reasons she likes to tell everyone. So it's the same old, same old with these two idiots. And uh, I just enjoy laughing at them with you guys because I love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it took me strangely longer to take to get done than I <laughs> anticipated so I apologize but um, I hope you liked it if you did please hit the like button on your way in or your way out and I love you guys I hope you guys have a great Wednesday and um, what else what else I think that's it I think that's it I will be back soon um, again, I hope you all have a beautiful day and thank you for supporting me. I missed you guys so, so much and I will try to not take such a long break again <laughs> because I'm sure there'll be more of this fun stuff to go over. So love you guys very much. Have a great day. Bye. Don't worry, just another day in the same old shit dick in my pockets Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents, yeah huh. But that don't mean that I fall for 